Michael. Hey, Nathan. What's Good morning. up? Oh, you know. Good morning. You know, everything's up. This is cool. Yeah. We get to, we get to hang out again every morning. Hanging out with Nathan every morning. I love it. Hanging out with Michael. Yeah. So if you're uh, if you're new here, this is Mission Discovery Kickstart. Uh, every morning we're going to get together, do devos at about oh, well, not about at exactly 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, this is kind of what we do on a mission trip. So we we wake up and we get together. We have some devotional time, and then uh, and then we go out to serve for the day. Well, since we can't do that, uh, this is what we're doing. So, Michael, um, yeah. to, Today we've got Tracy Parlin. On. Tracy Parlin. I've served with her. Yeah. Quite a few times. Yeah. Yeah, me too. She's been to Jamaica. She's done uh, Reynosa before. So yep. uh, so we're really excited about having her on as a guest today. She's going to lead us in a devotional. And uh, I don't want to waste any more time getting to her. Uh, we'll wrap up after she talks. So let me go over to Tracy. Hey guys, my name is Tracy Parlin and I have been involved with Mission Discovery now for quite some time. Started out in Mexico, uh, in Reynosa, building houses with junior hires, uh, such fun times and did that many years. Also have been to McAllen and recently to Puerto Rico. And so we love Mission Discovery. I go to Chase Oaks Church and we've been involved with them for many, many years. And so I'm excited to have this opportunity just to share with you today. And where I wanna go is in John. The, the scripture is John 14, 27. And so what it reads is, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not let it be fearful. That verse has always been really special to me. And especially in times like this, where there is so much going on, so much uncertainty and the world is troubled right now. And for some of that, it is a, there are good reasons. There are things going on. But what I wanna ask ourselves um, as believers in a world that is really thrown into darkness right now is, we need to be offering that hope the hope that we have within us. And it's not based on circumstances. You know, I think back to Paul when he says, I am content in all circumstances, whether wealthy and poor, whatever the circumstances are in sickness, um, in health, all of those things. And so right now in a time like this, it's so important for us to be grounded in our faith and to offer hope. I look and I see things on Facebook and and other places that are just full of negativity of statistics. And what I really want us to be reminded about is to ground ourselves in the foundation of our faith, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday. He was the same before this virus. He's the same today and he's the same forever. And so especially in this week coming up towards Easter, as we really celebrate one of the, the most significant time in our faith, which is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The question I wanna ask myself and you and, and everyone who's listening is, what are we doing to offer hope and peace today? What can we do, whether it's something we say on Facebook, whether it's something we do in our neighborhoods, um, no matter where we feel God leading us, what is it that we can do today to offer that hope and peace to others? So let me pray with you uh, real quick, and then we'll get started on this beautiful day. Father, thank you that you do offer us peace, a peace that transcends the world and transcends our circumstances. And Father, I pray that each one of us would be a light for you during this dark time. Thank you that you love us. Thank you that you died on the cross for us. We just ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. It's really good seeing everybody. Have a great day. Awesome. All right, Michael. <laughs> yeah. that, was, that was Tracy. Her message was awesome, just on hope. And uh, and how do we offer hope? I, I love the direct question. Just like, what can we do right now to offer hope in this world during this time? And she was talking about Facebook or doing different things that we can do. And I just think it was really awesome, man. Yeah, I think so too. You know, I mean, a lot of times we think, 
it's got to be something big. But I mean, even just like reaching out, calling, calling somebody that, and telling them that you're thinking about them and praying for them. You know, that's that's a small thing that you that everyone can do uh, right now. Yeah. 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 In fact, that's what we've been asked to do at Mission Discovery. Uh, Jimmy Rivera, our president. Uh, uh, we met and, and he's like, hey, let's do this. Let's reach out to everybody and just ask how we can pray for him. Um, so, yeah, and that's been fun. It's been really fun to do. So, uh, Michael, do you have any announcements for us, man? You were just talking about your Nashville, uh, Nashville, what is it? Help me out. <laughs> um, uh, well, we're, we're calling it the Nashville Task Force, which uh, that's really just a couple of us staff members who... Um, have connections here in Nashville. Um, you know, Nashville, uh, right before everything got crazy with coronavirus, Nashville was actually um, impacted by a, uh, a, a really big tornado and it ripped through Nashville and then also continued on on east um, as far as Cookville. And so it, it left just a really long path of destruction. And so um, we know that there are people out there that need help, especially since um, some of the response kind of got um, slowed down due, due to everybody trying to um, keep their distance and stay in home. So uh, we anticipate um, needing a huge response this summer in Nashville. Yeah. So we're just trying to be prepared so that when we're able to, to respond, when we're able to, to you know, get out of our houses, that we have contacts in place and lodging in place. Um, so that groups can come and make a, a real impact in the lives of those who have been affected by this tornado. So are you looking for help? You, you need people to join you? Oh, yeah, we're looking for help. Um, you know, if you know somebody who who has been impacted, we'd love to hear about that as well. Um, but we are definitely looking for as much help as we can get. We're going to have as many weeks as possible um, in Hopefully June and July, but as soon as you know everything's kind of calmed down from um, the coronavirus, uh, we're going to be looking at leading trips uh, to Nashville to possibly Cookville. Um, yep. That's exactly where isn't isn't fully formed yet because we're still reaching out. But um, you you can be sure that um, as soon as we can, uh, we're going to be making a big response to to those who need help in Nashville. Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of people may not know this, but the house I lived in for eight years was uh, was has been demolished from that tornado. So um, it, uh, you know, yeah, it's crazy. We've actually got a dog from that house uh, just chilling with us uh, because they were stuck in a hotel for a while. So uh, we were like, yeah, we'll 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 babysit. So. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. um, I'm going to switch over here. You guys want to check this image out. Um, it's on our social media, Miss Dish Trips. Uh, you can go find that on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Pinterest. Uh, take this to your dinner table. Take it to your small groups. Talk over what Tracy was sharing with us today. Tomorrow, uh, we have a special guest, uh, Anna Brown from Nashville, or actually from Hendersonville, uh, will be joining us tomorrow. So. Uh, she's got a word for us and it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to share it. Uh, but for now, I'm going to head over to worship with Robbie. It was really good seeing everybody this morning. Talk to you soon. Talk to you tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. What?
could ever come close No thing can compare You're our living Your presence, Lord. 